Prior to creating the triangulation, the survey data needs to be checked for errors. The first check that we're going to do is for any large height errors, and this sometimes occurs when you import data from another package, and where the null heights are given a height of zero. So we're going to start off by using plan view number one, and we're going to turn on all of our models. We're going to use the option view, view info, to check all of our data, so we select the view, view number one, and just to be sure, click on Calc Extents. You'll note that there is a minimum Z value of zero and a maximum Z value of 78. If you see a minimum Z value of zero, you should be suspicious. If we click on the Null Level Info checkbox up here and hit Calc Extent, that we have 56 null vertices. These vertices come from our road boundary and they were nulled because it came from a 12D ASCII file. Whereas our points with a height of zero have undoubtedly come in from the CAD package. So it's all well and good knowing that we have heights of zero, but where are they? To locate these, we use the option Models, Model Info Table. Just widen this out. And if I click on the minimum Z, and I click on it twice, you'll notice that the model survey structure building has a minimum height of Z and a maximum height of Z. You'll also notice down the bottom that our model survey road boundary has no heights as we already figured. If I now double click on the model survey structure building you'll see it'll open up the string information table and it'll break it down into three strings. Now I'm just going to minimize the model info table and move this one out of the way. And if I click on any one of them, you'll see inside the plan view, it'll highlight the string and put a crosshair at the center of it. And I can do that for all three strings. Makes it fairly easy to see where our problem is. It's obviously these three buildings that were created here. We can finish on our string info table now as it's identified our problems. And we can also finish on our model information table. And we're going to use an option which will null out anything that has a height of zero. This is done under utilities, H to Z, null heights, height. The data we're going to null is anything in view number one that has a height of zero. And we're just going to replace that data, replace the existing data to give it a null height. And we can click on null and finish. If we now just zoom in on our buildings here and click on the toggle icon and select Z values, you'll notice that all our points have a Z value except for the corners of these buildings now. You may also note that our survey station as in brackets NT, which means it wouldn't be used in our triangulation or it's non-tinnable. Back in the view information panel, if I now hit Calc Extents, you'll note that the minimum Z value is now 51.837 and the number of null vertices has now increased to 68.